With WFL Mill Turn Technologies, yes, you get high precision, high quality machines, resulting in high quality components as you expect, but some applications are more complex than others, and that goes with screw cutting. So, Christoph, WFL have produced your own software, which is called ScrewCam. Yes. Can you tell me more about it, please? Yeah, ScrewCam is the latest and innovative software product for WFL for manufacturing of screws for the plastic industry. This means uh, for uh, extrusion or injection molding. Okay, so, it's a, I mean, we can see here a number of different sort of profiles of screws. So the actual software itself is a four-stage process? Yes. Uh, the software consists of a modular stage. So here the user can define the shape of the screw. Uh, but not uh, by uh, modeling it uh, in uh, a, a conventional CAD system. So we have an own modeler and we have to input uh, construction parameters for the screw or uh, dimensions which can be read from a 2D drawing. Okay, so um, a conventional machine shop might turn up and say, I want this manufactured and just have a, a basic 2D, 2D picture and you can work from that. Yes, so this is the intention. Uh, so the first step is to make a model or this, the target geometry to create it with parameters. Second step is to create the NC program for manufacturing of these uh, shapes. Yeah? And here you can use a lot of automatisms which are implemented in the software which helps the user to fastly generate an NC program for the component. Okay, and then, so what? So you've, you've got your drawing, you've put your geometries in, you produce the NC code, then yes. what happens? The next step is uh, to simulate the NC code within the CrashCut Studio. This is a virtual machining software from WFL. So uh, you can uh, have a look and uh, you can verify the complete program and process in the virtual world. Okay, and why would you want to verify it? Uh, verification is, uh, first, you can see if the program run is as you wanted it. And the next is, uh, during this process, you do also a virtual machining of the component. So, and at the end, you can compare the virtual uh, machined component with the target component from the modeler. And then you can see it very quickly with colors, so when you have some areas where you have cut it too much material, you will see it in red. So this is an, an, an undercut. Yeah? And when you have uh, uh, areas where there's too much material uh, left, then you will see it in blue color. When, when uh, uh, it fits together, you will see it in green. Okay, so it's giving a visual representation which is easy to understand. Yes. Is it then easy to manipulate that so you can get it exactly as you yes, want it? Yes, you can. When, when, there, when you can find an error, then you can easily modify uh, uh, the production process and do another simulation. With this process, you may need to use a number of different tools, but I understand this will actually optimise the amount of tools you require. Yes, there is a so-called best fit calculation implemented in the software which uh, uh, gives you the, the possibility to machine, to the, the finishing process uh, for machining the walls uh, can be done in the most cases with standard tools, with cylindrical uh, milling cutters, with rounded edges, uh, and the, the best fit algorithm uh, takes care that the tool is optimally uh, orientated to the wall so that the shape is produced with maximum accuracy with a standard tool. Okay, so there you have it. A very complex process in terms of screw cutting made simple with the screw cam software from WFL.